The next process is called blending. Blending is bringing together, combining together two things. Blending is the process in which partially one word and partially other words are combined together. You might be knowing Deepika Padukone and Ranveer Singh and their name is Deepveer. They call it Deepveer. So Deepika, from Deepika, Deep is taken. From Ranveer, Veer is taken and that becomes Deepveer. So Deepveer is a blend of Deepika and Ranveer. This is called the process of blending in which you take two different words, clip them and take initial or later part of each of them. You can create a lot of many blends, as many blends as you want. But the standard blends that are given in the book are motel. Motel is the blend of motor and hotel. Motor and hotel together become motel. Pomato. Pomato is the blend of Potato and tomato. Pomato. Pomato. Tomato. Pomato. Potato. Tomato. Brunch is a blend of breakfast and lunch. Brunch. Breakfast and lunch. Heliport is the bl blend of helicopter and airport. Advertorial is the blend of advertisement and editorial. Advertorial. Chunel is the blend of channel and tunnel. Oxbridge is the blend of Oxford and Cambridge. Oxbridge. Okay. Slanguage is the blend of slang and language. And English, which comes from Hindi and English. Hope you've understood. It's very simple. Okay. And the next one is reduplication. The process of reduplication. Reduplication. You can just listen to the word and understand what the process is. The same word or same sound is repeated. Re. It's duplicated. Duplication. The sound is repeated or duplicated. There are plenty of reduplicators. And we use a lot of reduplicators in our daily language also. Even in our Marathi Hindi also we have plenty of reduplicators because they give a kind of delight to the language. The words like TikTok, Ding Dong, Bow Wow as the examples of reduplicatives. Some are, we can also classify reduplicatives into three, four categories, and you can see it on your screen also. They are sound imitators, sound imitators which imitate the sound. Now, if you ring the bell, that becomes Ding Dong, Ding Dong, Ding Dong. So Ding goes with Dong. Actually, the bell is Ding Ding only, but we call it Ding Dong. The sound has been imitated and imitated twice. Bow wow, bow wow is that barking of the dog is generally called bow wow. We say bow wow and tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That's the sound of the clocks of the watch. Right. Insincerity suggesting reduplicatives are there. For example, we say this is really willy nilly, this is wishy washy, this is higgly piggly, this is topsy turvy. And there is something called intensifying reduplicatives and the example is tip top tip top you're a tip top person and there are plenty of other reduplicatives you find the examples even you google them you will find a lot of examples of reduplicatives and try to use them in your language they're really interesting to use the acronyms acronyms has a meaning okay acronym are the contracted forms of the words or of the lengthy words in fact Acronyms are the contracted forms of the lengthy words. You can have different kinds of acronyms in English. They are not the initials taken of a particular sentence or a long word. It's not like that. They are different also. They are also taken. Some of the suffixes are taken. Some of the clips are taken and form the acronyms. For example, the sequence of letters. You take the sequence of letters. How United Nations Organization is called UNO. United Nations Organization is called UNO. COD when you write COD that means cash on delivery when you write HOD that is that means head of the department when you write ISRO I S R O Indian Space Research Organization when you write RAW Research and Analysis Wing of India so this is called sequence of letters taken together sometimes we take more letters from a single word just like Television, we write TV, right? It's a single word, but we take two words, tele and vision, and we write TV. For general headquarters, they write GHQ. 
And for deputy, they write DY. And for limited, we write LTD. I mean, we take more than one letters from a word. Then acronyms pronounced as a word. There are certain acronyms which are actually pronounced as the word. And even we don't know that these are, the, these are actually the acronyms. For example, see radar, R-E-D-A-I. You might have heard this word, which means radio detecting and arranging, radar. Laser, you might have heard the word laser, L-A-S-E-R, laser. Light amplification by the stimulated emission, emission of radiation. It is the acronym of this. UNICEF, this you might have heard about UNICEF. The United Nations Interna International Children's Emergency Fund and NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. SCUBA, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus and WASP, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, etc. Specialization and generalization. Try to understand. When we speak, in the course of time, what happens? Some words change their meaning. I mean, some general meanings become special and some special meanings become general. If the general meanings become special, the process is called specialization. And if the special meanings become general, the process is called generalization. Let's try to understand this with the help of a few examples. For example, the meaning of the word is widened dichronically with the time. Say camp or rubbish. The first example given in here is rubbish. In Old English, only meant broken stones. The word rubbish was used for broken stones. Now for everything you call what rubbish. So broken stone, gen special meaning of broken stone become generalized meaning to me to refer to everything that is bad or broken today. Right. So that is, this is called generalization. Camp. The word camp was basically used to refer to military camp, which now is being used for everything. We have NSS camp. We have our own camps. When we tour, we camp there. So that is also there. Then there is another word called guy. And we generally use it guy, which meant a grostic man in only a grostic man. But now it's any man. Hey, guys, how are you? We just say that. So. Guy has become common instead of a gross, gross stick man. It's commonly used for everybody. And now to the last one that is specialization. It's exactly opposite of it. The word earlier had a general sense, was used in a general sense, but now is used in a specialized sense. Hound in Shakespeare's time was a general word used to refer to dogs, any kinds of dogs. But today it is used to refer to a specific breed of the dog. So hound that was general now becomes special. Okay, meat in Old English was used to refer to all sorts of non-vegetarian foods. But now it has its meaning restricted to a special kind of meat.